I think uh, I'm expect it's very nice to come to, to Russia and to come to Eastern Europe and talk about uh, kind of uh, important issues in perinatal medicine. We are, we are facing some development in the world that we have at least seen in, in several of the East European countries that in, uh, kind of uh, skyrocketing cesarean section rate. And, and, and a baby shouldn't be born by a cesarean section if it's not necessary or medical reasons to, to do that. I think that a meeting like this, can, we can really cover that and we can discuss that in a very good manner. Um, I'm also looking forward, it, it's also good because some of, of, of uh, I'm, I'm personally working with preterm delivery and, and a lot of the, uh, there are l some deliveries that are not needed to do preterm. So I'm here to a little bit talk about that and to understand uh, what is possible to, to avoid and, and not to uh, do and also what is needed to do so, and, and the kind of reasonable expectations for was possible to to yeah. So my topic were uh, a big project that we did in the International Federation of Obstetrics and Gynecological Association, FIGO, and a kind of important uh, non-for-profit organization, March of Dimes in the U.S. We did a big study of more than four million individuals to to see how much our current knowledge of risk factors could explain for the preterm delivery rates in the world. And, and most uh, uh, of, of the preterm is still, even if we would have understand and, and could have prevented those risk factors for happen, uh, we, um, we would not even uh, take the preterm delivery to half. So, so there is a lot of knowledge that we need to better understand here we, and we also need to have a kind of reasonable expectations what we can do with with um, the current knowledge and the pr current preventive measures that we can do. I think that uh, one of the things that you, you should take with you home is to 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 look at your own work and what is really needed to do from medical reasons, uh, medical reasons indications or not and also to compare with other people in other parts of the world. I think that that is, we, if we should make a big progress in reducing the numbers of preterm born babies, we need to work together internationally to do to the, this. The other thing is to, to co really consider if you need to do so many uh, pre, uh, cesarean sections that are at least in some part of East Europe uh, is happening right now. You can see here that there are people, international speakers, there are Russian speakers, um, there are discussions going on. It's very positive and the environment here is very good. International collaboration is very important. We need to have different measures to reduce the risk of preterm delivery rates. And it might be different in a country like Russia, to Romania, to Bulgaria, to Sweden. And, and, and uh, therefore, we need to work together to better understand what happens. We, we need also work together to get perspective on what we are doing. And, and also, we, need, we are not here for our own purposes. We are here to try to help uh, women with their struggles during pregnancy. And, uh, and there will be no easy fix. So we really need to work together to better understand this issue of pregnancy and pre pregnancy complications.